Scores of cyclists descended on Carnival City east of Johannesburg and took part in a 70-kilometer ride in support of Lucky Mugoni. Mugoni is one of many cyclists or runners who have been attacked in the recent past while exercising early in the morning. The 44-year-old was on his way to meet other riders when he was attacked, robbed off his bicycle, beaten and left for dead on the roadside. He was found a day later and spent several days in intensive care before being discharged. Earlier, Blaine Herman and spoke to Dumsani Mgadi from Cyclist Live Matter and Lucky Mugoni, who is now out of hospital and recovering. Lucky is a well-known cyclist around East Rand and Springs. He was doing something what, he do, what we do regularly. Every day in the morning we ride together and uh, on Fridays in particular we have something we call a coffee ride mm. where we ride early morning like half past four we ride and then so that by half past five people are back and they go to workplaces and all that after having done at least one hour exercise on the bicycle so on his usual route going to join us in in, in the group he then met his assailants mm. who then beat him up dropped his bike dropped him his belongings and then left him for dead basically and then he ended up in, in hospital. And for some days, we couldn't find where he was. So this is something that is happening now on a regular basis mm. that a cyclist, when you wake up and ride, and also affects even runners, we, you don't know whether you're going to come back home or you'll end up on the side of the road dead. And this is what we are saying. Um, the, the South African police need to know, in fact, they know Every area that we have has a police station and police in those areas know the cycling routes, knows our patterns, but, and we always report cases. So there are a number of roads now in this country that have become no-go areas for cyclists, and this it must come to an end. Yeah. We are, that's what we are demanding, because we are losing our bicycle, and we also hear that they get sold outside the country. So it is a, it's a syndicate that is operating to... To, 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 take, to, to take our bicycle, but also affect our simple life of waking up and ride a bicycle, which is a healthy thing that we should all do. Yeah. Look, uh, with regards to you saying that this is a syndicate, you suspect that this is a syndicate. No doubt, uh, I ride a bit as well, and I know how expensive some of these uh, bikes are. Uh, so there is value in that, but there's value in lives, and that's I think, is more important. Uh, Lucky, as you say, is just but one of many cyclists and runners that have been attacked of late. What sort of, what sort of numbers are we talking about here? How regular is this occurrence? You know, this is not only affecting us in Gauteng. Mm. In Gauteng, for instance, last week we had lost two members of the Fugani teams. They were also attacked and robbed their bicycles. Mm. And um, they were also beaten up. That's a big problem, that they always get beaten up. And then if you recall last year in August, um, uh, a, a Comrades Marathon legend, Nick Bester, his problem on that day is mm. that he decided to ride the bicycle. He was robbed his bicycle, he was beaten up, he was tied up. We all know the story of Nick Bester, and he landed in, in hospital, he had to do surgery. So this is happening not only just around Houting, even if you go to places like Kwebeha in Port Elizabeth, you'll find places like Woma that have become no-go areas. We read every day, we're tired of reading that. Uh, cyclists have been robbed their bicycle and beaten up. Around here, Atlas Road is becoming difficult for us to ride in because of the same thing. So that's why we're saying police need to do something to protect the lives of cyclists as well as runners yeah. who exercise in the morning. Do what precisely? What can police do? What what yeah. sort of solutions can you put forward in order well, for them there, to... Well, there are two them? things that police need to do. Yeah. One, our bicycle, we hear the end out outside the car. So there's a criminal syndicate that needs to be that needs to be dealt with, and that's a crime to mm. do that. And number two, people are being assaulted, and that's a crime. And this crime is a pattern. And then police, in, this happens in areas largely where there are police stations. Lucky, before he gets to the right, he passes a police station. And so this thing happens so quick. And police are supposed to know what's happening in their neighborhoods. Mm. This crime doesn't happen elsewhere. It happens mostly, in, in most cases, not far away from police stations. And that's why we need police to protect and help create some visibility in the morning to patrol the areas that are where cyclists and runners mm -hmm. run because we all know where, where, where that happens. Are, are you with Lucky currently? I am with Lucky currently. With grace of God, Lucky is out of the hospital. He's back with us. Does he he want is to at home. Chat with us? And then they are mostly with the captain of um, 
the South Crew team, which is Carol uh, Matimela. Mm. So I'm with Lucky here, who is back at home trying to recover. Lucky, look, it, it's, it's good to see you. It's good to see you that you are on the mend. We wish you all the very best in terms of your recovery. How are you feeling, sir? I'm okay. Yeah. Tell us what this, this experience, okay. uh, how, has it shaped your view in terms of getting back on the bike? No doubt that it is necessary to carry on running, to carry on cycling. Why? Because you don't want the criminals to win, isn't it? But at the same time, are you really I'm concerned about your, your safety? Also, another thing is about my safety as well. True. I agree with you there 100%. Mm. W will you get back on the bike, Lucky? Yeah, I will get back on my bike. What's going to motivate you? Why? I will get back on my bike. Hello? Why? Give us your, your motivation. Mm. There is nothing else for me to do out, out there except yeah. riding my bike. Yeah. And it's important to get back on the saddle, so to speak, isn't it? Yes. To get your True. confidence back. But what would you want police to do? Uh, I know I spoke to Dumasani with regards to the way forward in trying to tackle this. Well, you know, you've experienced this now firsthand. What's your appeal to the authorities in order to safeguard cyclists and runners on the road? All I want is more visibility mm. from, from the police. Mm. Yeah. I know that, you know, I can like say it how many times I can, but we need visibility mm. from the police. We need a lot of visibility from, from the police. Uh, look, I understand that you're still on the mend. I can see you still in a bit of pain. I see the bruised eye. Yes. We thank God that you're still with us. No doubt your family is grateful that you are still with us. But I guess the next yes. step now, uh, Dumasani, is to safeguard our cyclists and runners. Um, the mm. Cyclist Lives Matter campaign, talk to us more about it. Today, uh, talk to us what, what happened today and how you plan to take this campaign forward. Well, well today we, we had a lot of um, cyclists around the Springs. Um, we got cycling captain, as, I'm, as you can see here, I'm with one of them, which is yeah. Carol Matimela. We got captain from Fugani, proud beginners cycling. We got together to, we wrote um, 73 cases already now. We're going to finish up back to Carnival Mall. It will be 83 kilometers. Basically, we're riding to highlight and also to make a clear statement that the attacks on, the, on our cyclists need to come to an end. Yeah. And we're saying, you know, as cyclists, we are also citizens of this country, mm -hmm. and therefore we deserve protection from police. What a terrible turn of the events there. And just to echo Lucky Mugoni's words, visibility from the police is really required. We wish you, Lucky, a very speedy recovery. We can't wait to see you back on the bike again. And on that note, that's how we wrap it up from the sports desk.